I've made these Bluetooth portable speakers a few years back. I've used them since then, but they are a little bit old and also have a lot of problems. First of all, the battery that I've used back then was too small and the voltage too low, and with the powerful amplifier that wouldn't last too long. So I want to improve that. Also, the charging system was not balanced, and that would create some problems. Besides, now I have a few new amplifiers that I want to use and test. This one is more powerful and will go better with this huge speaker. I will add extra battery so it will last for more hours. A 6S balanced BMS so I could charge the battery safely with no problems. It will have an on and off switch. A volume control with a potentiometer. And of course a Bluetooth connection using this module that I've used in the past smaller portable speaker project. It will also have a voltage meter display so we could know when to recharge the batteries. So I want a new and better speaker and that's what we will do in this video. Before we start make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, otherwise you might miss some future videos or any other announcement from my channel. Also thanks to my patrons for the support. So let's get started. Get professional made PCBs from GLC PCB for very low prices. And now the good news is that the price is the same for any color of the solar mask. The finish quality is very good, the precision as well and good delivery time. For just $2 you can get 10 PCBs of 10 by 10 cm of any color now. You have green, red, yellow, white, blue and black options to choose from. So upload your files to GLC PCB and order the PCBs now and take advantage of this offer. What's up my friends, welcome back. This is the portable Bluetooth speaker from my last tutorial. I will use the same wood case and the speakers, but I will change all the electronics inside, since the last circuit was not good enough. Last time I've used this amplifier board with a TDA-IC that already had a Bluetooth receiver on it. This time I bought some different amplifier boards. So I will go with this one, that also has a TDA-7498E amplifier IC and the supply input from 15 to 36 volts. This board has a power of 160 watts for each channel, so a total of 320 watts. Unfortunately, I will use only one channel for this project, since I don't have enough room for two speakers inside of my case. But if you want in your project, make your own case and add two speakers for both left and right channels. Ok, so we will need that amplifier board and a bunch of batteries, to make a 6S battery pack. I will use these 18 650 batteries that I got from some old laptop batteries. We also need a BMS module to charge the battery pack safely. The BMS module must be a 6S one, just as our battery pack. Next we need to receive sound using Bluetooth, so I will use once again this very cheap module that I bought from eBay. This module works at 4.2 volts, so for that we will need a small buck converter to get 4.2 volts from the 6S battery pack. Some extra parts that we need are an on and off switch, a push button to enable the pairing mode for the Bluetooth module, the voltage meter to see the battery voltage and this DC plug and the jack for charging the batteries later with my power supply. For the speakers I will use this base 20cm diameter speaker together with one mid and one high frequency smaller speakers. The amplifier could give up to 160 watts at 36 volts. But with a 6S battery, it will probably give a maximum power of around 90 watts or so. Ok guys, I first remove all the speakers inside of the wood case and I clean it with some alcohol. The next step for this project is to make our battery pack. I want it to last longer, so I get 12 of these 18650 batteries. I solder packs of 2 batteries in parallel. Then I make a series of 6 packs and I get a 6S battery pack with a voltage of 25 volts. See the schematic for the battery pack below in order to know how to solder the BMS module. I use these plastic supports that are made for this kind of battery packs and I could give them any shape that I want. They are very easy to use. So I connect 6 supports for each side and I place the batteries like this, 2 with positive polarity and 2 with negative and so on. I make the connections using my spot welder station and some nickel ribbons. I solder the BMS module and that's it. The battery pack is ready. Now I put the case, the battery pack and the speakers aside 
and before I put everything inside of the case, I test my circuit outside to make sure that it works. See the schematic for this project below this video. The Bluetooth module will be connected to the left and right audio input of the amplifier, here on these pins. To supply this Bluetooth module, I've soldered these wires to ground and 4.2 volts and connected this to this bar converter that I fixed to 4.2 volts before connecting it to the Bluetooth module. Also glue the potentiometer so it will stay at that voltage. From the Bluetooth module, I've also soldered two wires from the main button and connected my own push button. This is used to enable the pairing mode and power on the module. So I connect the speaker at the output of the amplifier. Now I supply 25 volts from my power supply and I turn on the entire system. I press the Bluetooth button and the system starts. I now connect my smartphone and I play some music. The circuit works, so it's time to place it inside of the wood case. First I place the DC plug on the back of the speaker. Here I will later connect the power supply and charge my batteries. The DC plug is connected to the BMS module of the battery pack. Then I've made two holes on the top of the case, and I fit the main switch and the pairing button on these holes after I solder some cables to each of them. Then I've made this hole and I place the voltage indicator here. The positive part of the battery is connected to the on and off switch, and this switch is connected to the amplifier input and to the 4.2 volts back converter. The voltage meter is also connected to the switch, so when we turn on the speaker it will display the battery voltage. Ok, so now the amplifier uses this potentiometer to set the volume. I remove this from the board and I solder it back using some long wires. So now I can place the potentiometer on the outside of the case so I could also control the volume. Ok, I place the battery back inside of the case. I also secure the amplifier the Bluetooth module and everything else. I make sure that the speakers are connected to one channel of the amplifier, and now we could screw back the speakers. Then I add the plastic covers and the Bluetooth portable speakers is ready. Just one final touch. On top of the case I screw this 3D printed handle. So now it is easier to carry the speaker around. To charge the battery I use my power supply and I set it to exactly 25.2 volts. I connect it to the charging plug and the battery will charge up. The BMS will automatically turn off the charging process and you will see that the current value will turn to zero. If you don't have a power supply, you could make a charging using a DC transformer and a boost converter with a decent current limit. Set the converter to 25.2 volts and then connect that to the DC connector. You have more details about this below. Ok guys, so I turn on the switch. I can see the battery level on the display. Now I long press the Bluetooth module button and after a few seconds I hear the Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. After I hear the sound notification, I search for Bluetooth devices and connect to the audio module. I can now play some music from my smartphone and the sound is great and very powerful. I can easily set the volume with the potentiometer on top of the case. The sound is very powerful and I only use one channel, so imagine using both channels and make it stereo. Ok guys, so there we go. If you want to make the same speaker, you have all the part lists below of this video, the schematic and all the steps on my webpage electronoops.com. So make sure you check all those steps as well for a better view of the connections, how to set the voltage, make the battery and so on. I hope that you like this project. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. And remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. So thanks again and see you later guys.